There was a girl, and on that girl there was a man, and from that man there was a seed, and from that seed there was a boy, and from that boy there was a man, and from that man there was a grave, and from that grave there grew a tree. The Wicker Man is written and directed by Neil LaBoot and it stars Nicolas Cage. Obviously, I'm not reviewing that Wicker Man, even though I did actually buy that film at Goodwill for a dollar on DVD, because what other format would I buy that film on? And um, I'm absolutely excited to just get hammered and watch it from start to finish, because I've, I've never seen it from start to finish before, and I think that I'm going to have a blast watching it. And this is what this week's patron poll looks like. If this is something that you're interested in and you would like to vote on, Please consider being a $1 patron. That would mean the world to me. So The Wicker Man is a cult classic, I guess like mystery, psychological horror type film that honestly, I really didn't even know existed. I mean, I always knew about the Nick Cage, The Wicker Man, which is kind of blasphemy when you think about it. But I didn't know that that film was a remake of an already existing film, which is this original Wicker Man. And I didn't know that until Ari Aster's Midsommar came out last year. And I know I'm kind of late, like you would think that somebody who is that much into film would have already known about this film, but unfortunately I didn't. And after further research, I realized that this film has a lot of mixed reviews because I have heard a lot of people, even a lot of my subscribers, say that this is a horror masterpiece and they think that this is a phenomenal horror film or, or really just a phenomenal film in general. And then you have people who actually really don't like this film at all and say that um, it's really dated, it's really cheesy, and uh, the, the pacing is really slow and really awkward. And so you kind of have a lot of different people have a lot of different opinions on this film. And um, now that I've seen it, I, I honestly think that this is a pretty solid film. Like, I don't think I'm that in love with it, but... I did have a good time watching this, and I think especially for its time, this is something that you have to give praise on, on a lot of different areas, and overall I think this film does have a lot to offer, and I think if you haven't seen this film, and you're a fan of horror, you should definitely set aside some time in your life and try to check it out. It's Right now it's on Netflix, so if you have Netflix you can actually watch it, but that being said, yeah, like there are things about this film that I really enjoyed, and I think the aspect of it that... I like the most about it has to do with its main thematic goal which to me seems to be really apparent which is trying to expose this kind of culture clash not only between two vastly different cultures but two vastly different uh, religious practices and it was really fun and interesting to see this you know really uptight strict uh, police officer character who is obviously inherently and very strictly Christian uh, like just kind of observe everything that he's seeing on this on this remote island and his reactions to a lot of things I thought was kind of funny like there were a lot of moments in this film that I honestly just found funny I think some of it was actually intentional and there I think there was also some of it that was not the most intentional but I'll definitely get into that later but there was just like it was just really entertaining and you know kind of comedic to see a character who comes from a vastly different kind of uptight background uh, be exposed to a whole different culture that is more free-spirited and less bound by these kind of restricting type of rules. And just to see the main character go throughout this entire film, just seeing all these insanely different practices uh, and uh, cultural values just unfold in front of his eyes was, uh, it was really entertaining. And... Like I mentioned, a lot of people had problems with the pacing, but I actually didn't. I thought this film was actually uh, paced relatively well because a lot of it is uh, really engaging. Like I didn't really find this film boring at all. That's kind of another plus about this film is that from start to finish, I thought this film was really intriguing, uh, pretty entertaining, 
And even though I think some parts weren't fully supposed to be funny, um, overall, it kept my attention, and I thought this film did a lot to try to make sure that the audience doesn't get bored throughout. And this film also has a handful of scenes that are just really weird and odd and just make you feel off when you're watching it. Because even for most people watching and observing this type of culture that's unfolding, uh, for most people, even if you're not really a strict uh, Christian or a strict person that practices religion or anything like that, you know, there's still some scenes where you're just like, that is so different from what from what I was raised. And for something like that to be normalized in the way that I'm seeing is just, it just makes you feel really off. And I think that this film uh, did a great job at making most audiences that are watching this uh, feel that kind of awkward feeling. There's one scene in particular in the first act of this film that involves a woman trying to seduce a certain character, and that was just a really interestingly crafted scene, and I'm not sure if everybody would be into it, but I liked the approach, and I found it pretty creative, and um, again, it's like one of those things that are just like, it feels surreal, and you feel like you're watching something uh, that you probably shouldn't be watching. And honestly, like, I really wouldn't even categorize this film as a horror. I mean, it, it just definitely has a subgenre of horror, but it's really, like, the last 10 minutes or so of this film that genuinely feels like a dark horror film. And I think, for the most part, that ending was pretty haunting and was mostly executed very well. Uh, it uses these disturbing noises that come from animals in a really off-putting way. And just what the main character goes through at the very end of this and the way it was acted uh, felt pretty believable. Like, that's probably the way anybody would act if they were going through this. And I thought the ending was really well done and was definitely the, the most horrific part of this film. But what I will say about this film is that I kind of agree with those people who say that there are aspects of it that feel a little bit dated. And the reason why I would say that is because the use of music in certain areas is just really either just feels unfitting or just comes off a bit cheesy. And there's there's a particular part in the third act where the one character is trying to rescue somebody and there's music that's put in there that just feels like, like, like who chose that music? Like what feeling were they going for with that? But even like beyond that, like even some of the camera techniques uh, felt like a bit dated and a bit cheesy. Like there were some parts where it would like do this really quick zoom in, uh, to the main character's face. What? And I just don't think it had the best execution. And I think, you know, you can do that because I mean, Tarantino uses that all the time and even other filmmakers besides Tarantino, but they do it in a more self-aware way or they do it in some other way that doesn't really feel a bit cheesy. And I feel like most of the time when this film did that, um, again, it came off like a more, more comedic than actually dramatic. And another aspect about this film that I'm not sure if I'm really fully on board with is that, you know, I don't want to say that the theme here is really one dimensional, but it's definitely like really obvious of what it's going for throughout the entire film. Like I mentioned, like it's trying to, trying to present this obvious culture class and this obvious uh, clash of religious practices. And I feel like by the end of it, I don't know what real like message or point is trying to make because after this film was done, I was thinking that it's really easy for somebody to come away from this film thinking of uh, paganism, horrible and evil while Christianity is innocent and holy. I'm not saying that that's what this film was saying or if that what if that if that's what this film was going for because honestly I think that this film is probably a nightmare for anybody who is strictly Christian in the strong kind of way like I could see them just being really like uh traumatized by this movie. But overall like I feel like if maybe it would it has something a bit more insightful in terms of what it was trying to say about that culture clash then maybe i would have dug it a bit more but i personally came away from it uh not feeling like i truly got enough out of it and that's really what this film is trying to do from start to finish but i feel like it just didn't it didn't give me enough to chew on when it comes to that aspect but despite those things i still think that this is a fairly solid film and i had a lot of fun watching it i didn't find it boring 
I thought it was pretty engaging from start to finish. And, um, yeah, so despite its flaws, I think that it does have quite a bit to offer. And I mostly found enjoyment in it. And it was interesting, especially considering the fact that this came out in 1973. And this is a pretty old film. I don't want to say super old. I mean, films have been out since, like, the 20s and even earlier. But at this point, it's nearly 50 years old. And it's really interesting to see uh, films even today be inspired by this film. So I'm going to give The Wicker Man a 7.5 out of 10. This is a film that I would probably still consider buying on Blu-ray because it just seems like a really fun film to have in your collection. And it's definitely a film that I would want to revisit at some point. So that's all I got to say about The Wicker Man. If you really enjoyed what I had to say about it, please give this video a thumbs up and share it amongst your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be updated on more film-related content.